Now, why computer hacking isn't always a bad thing. The Rochester Institute of Technology, in fact, is being honored for its students' hacking skills. Megan Backus joins us live from RIT to tell us more how they're using hacking as a teaching tool. Megan? That's right, Kevin. A vending machine at RIT made PC Magazine's list of top 10 greatest hacks of all time. It came in third behind a video game called Space War. And get this, NASA's hack to bring Apollo 13 back to Earth safely. We got a look at this machine this afternoon. Here's how it works. With the click of a few buttons on a personal computer, computer science students at RIT, both former and current students, can vend a soda from two machines at Nathaniel Rochester Hall. Students have rewired old machines to do just that. With the correct login information, students can use credits to pick a soda selection from a computer and choose how long the vending machine should wait to drop the can. The computer then sends a message to the vending machine, and within 10 seconds or the time frame you've chosen, the can drops from the machine. All right, these students have been hacking into vending machines for educational purposes since the early 90s. Kind of pushing the limits and pushing the boundaries of, of what things are made to do. Um, we like to invent and explore here, and you know, it's just kind of a proof to that's what we do here. And of course, after the can drops, you have to walk to the machine to get your Coke or drink of choice. So why bother using your computer to dispense a soda in the first place? A lot of what we do is because it's cool. So taking a vending machine and connecting it to a computer was because they could. Uh, and there's no better explanation than because they could. As long as a student has a login ID, they can access the vending machine from any computer anywhere in the world. Now I asked the students if they're afraid somebody else might hack into their vending machine system and they said they're not too worried the system is pretty secure but they said if someone does hack into the system they want to meet the person who's smart enough to do it. Reporting at RIT, Megan Backus, News 8. That is a great story. Thanks Megan.